sort of heard of? I had to. Get out! It's been so long since you've done a new okay. one. <laughs> What's this one going to be? Oh, just tell me what this, the subject is. Series I want to finish by the end of 2020. Okay, carry on. I love you. Get out! I love you. I love you. <laughs> everybody it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with a video all about the series that I want to finish by the end of 2020. I have like so many that I have all of the books too but I haven't actually started them yet I just hoard and collect so I figured I should probably talk about ones that I a have actually already started and B own all the books for so I only chose five to talk about this time around but I'm sure I could make this video 60 times and still have enough books to talk about. So without further ado, let us get started. I'm gonna start with the most popular one. I tried to pick like a mixture of series that were popular and everybody will have heard of and ones that are not as popular. So the first one that I went with is the Crown of Feathers duology. I am honestly not sure if it's going to become a trilogy but this is by Nikki Palpatro and I just read Crown of Feathers and I give it a 5 out of 5 stars I was obsessed with it but the second book is Heart of Flame and it is a chonker and it terrifies me but I really really want to get to it because I loved Crown of Feathers so much it's basically about these two sisters who are phoenix riders and one of the sisters ends up doing something very not nice to the other sister so she decides that she is going to go away and find the phoenix riders in order to join them and it's basically like her having to pretend to be a male because they only take male phoenix riders and it's like her sister comes and tries to you know ruin her reputation with the phoenix riders but it is just so good and i highly recommend it so i really want to know where the story goes because i fell in love with the two main characters in the books i just really want to know if their relationship developed and what went on with it so i definitely need to get to this soon hopefully asap but you know lately i have not been reading and or making videos very much because i started dating my boyfriend and um he's taken a toll on my reading but hopefully by the end of 2020 it's gonna happen the next series i'm gonna talk about is definitely less popular i've never seen anybody on booktube actually talk about it but i got this book when i was younger and i read it back in like 2015 and i really liked the first book but it is lies beneath by Anne greenwood brown i honestly have no idea what the series is called but i call it lies beneath it's a mermaid series but the first book is lies beneath the second one is deep betrayal and the third one is promise bound. I have not read the second and third book in the series but I really did enjoy Lies Beneath when I read it. Like I said it's a mermaid book but it's about a male mermaid which you don't see very often in books because it's usually like sirens which are females but it's basically murderous mermaids but this brother mermaid has to try to ease the murderous tendencies of his sisters and it's just so good and i really like it so but like i said i read this in 2015 and haven't gone on to the second and third book so like it's about time it's 2020 you know we gotta get through the mermaid book the next series i have is another pretty popular series pretty much everybody on booktube has read this series by now because there was so much hype about it a couple years ago but it is the foxhole court series by nora sakovic i don't think that it's called the foxhole court series i don't remember what it's called the first book is the foxhole court which is the one that i have read i think i gave it a four out of five stars and then the king's men and the raven king are the second and third book have not read the second and third book it's about this boy named neil who is hiding from his past he ends up joining an xc team which is a fictional sport kind of similar to lacrosse but it turns out that he is not the only one on his team hiding secrets since like the story of that like i said i did enjoy the first book but i have heard that the second and third book just gets better so i'm definitely intrigued to see where the characters go because i actually really liked the characters some of the things that they do are very questionable and I didn't like that but I am curious to see what happens overall so this is another series I need to finish the next series that I have is like a kind of 
popular series like I saw a lot of people haul this book but I never saw them actually talk about what they thought of the book so it is The Queen's Rising by Rebecca Ross the second book is The Queen's Resistance I have read this book gave it a five out of five stars I was obsessed with it when I read it I think back in March of 2020 and I just received this in the mail a couple of weeks ago so this is kind of what sparked this whole video because I was like I need to finish that and then I got thinking there are so many series on my shelves that I need to finish. I'm not 100% sure if this is a duology or is going to become a trilogy or full-blown series. I don't know. There's two out right now. This is basically about a girl named Brianna who is part of the Magnolia School which is a school where girls go to learn one of the five trades and they are supposed to get a patreon who will sponsor them when they graduate. Brianna ends up not receiving a patreon so she stays at the school but then a mysterious stranger comes and is like hey I will sponsor you if you come with me and keep my secrets. So she has to decide whether or not she is going to go with this stranger and help him out on whatever quest he's going on or if she's gonna stay at the school, she ends up going on the quest and it's a grand old time and I'm so intrigued to see where the story progresses because like I said, five out of five stars, I was obsessed when I read it, so need to continue. And then the final series that I have, I started back in my first year of university, which was like, I don't know, seven years ago, like a ridiculous amount of time ago. But it is the I Hunt Killers series by Barry Liga. I have read the first book, I Hunt Killers, and Game is the second book. Read both of these. The third book, Blood of My Blood, is the one that I need to complete the series, but it is so freaking good. It's basically about a boy named Jasper Dent, whose father is the most notorious serial killer in the country. It's basically Jasper trying to suppress his serial killer tendencies that he got from his father. Jazz helps the police of his county to solve murders using these tendencies and the way that serial killers think, but it is so freaking good. The first book I gave a 5 out of 5 stars and the second book I gave a 4.5 I believe, but I do have a full review of the first book if you guys are interested in hearing like more about the series, but when I read it back in like 2015 I was obsessed with it, so I really should have this finished by now, but I'm not a very good booktuber never complete series. I just start them and never finish. <laughs> Alright everybody, so those were the five series that I'm hopefully going to finish by the end of 2020. Let me know down below if you have read any of these and what you've thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!